Answer, problem, answer. For great NFL coaches, football is much more than just having one answer. Average coaches think it's simply, can you beat the defense, yes or no, but that is not true. The reality is good coaches present in answer, but when defenses combat that with a problem, they're toast. Great coaches like Mike McDaniel, they answer the defense's problem with another answer. That's what we've seen with Tua and the Dolphins, where last year McDaniel transformed his career. Then week 14 happened, where Brandon Staley embarrassed them, holding Tua to a pathetic 10 of 28 for 145 yards on national television. But then week one rolls around and boom, 466 yard explosion. Answer, problem, answer. Today, I'll show you McDaniel's first answer from last year, turning Tua into a quasi-MVP candidate, then how Staley countered his answer by creating a problem, and then what McDaniel did in week one to answer that problem. Last year, Tua completely turned his career around, going from an average quarterback to a quarterback who led the NFL in yards per attempt, yards per completion, and QB rating. McDaniel identified Tua has an elite quick release and ability to anticipate open receivers, so he created an innovative scheme that accentuated those abilities and their offense exploded. They dominated the league with one specific play that they ran over and over. It all centered around a concept where Tyreek Hill or Jalen Waddell would start opposite the play, then jet motion to the other side to pick up a head of steam. He could go inside, outside, deep. Tua is at his best throwing in breakers over the middle, so they mostly ran these quick dig routes and just ate defenses alive. Teams who liked playing man coverage were basically screwed, because how are you going to guard Tyreek Hill running full speed at the snap right off the bat? And since you have to respect his speed going deep, a three-yard cushion turns into way too much space to give him, and he can easily release wherever he wants. This is the route they used to destroy teams with over and over. There were a million different times Tyreek or Waddle just torched defenses over the middle because Tua could feed them the ball there with precision on repeat. The concept is designed to read this inside seam type route first, and then whatever Tyreek is running after the motion second. So if the first read comes open, Tua hits him quick in case a team is playing zone or blitzing, which leaves that quick void in the defense. If teams drop back super heavy into zone coverage, they have this little slide route underneath that gets them a guaranteed 7 yards every time. By running this play, or slight variations off this play, Tua turned into a superstar, Waddle and Tyreek became the most fearsome duo in the league, the Dolphins' offense became unbelievably explosive, these constant inbreakers with their lightning-quick receivers were impossible to defend, until Brandon Staley happens in Week 14. But before we dive into how he countered McDaniel's answer with a problem, I first want to thank this season's sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy sports site where you can pick players every day, any sports, almost any stat, and you can win big. Every game, every sport, every day, they have a projection number where you can decide to play more or less. If you know what's going to happen, you can win big. To play, you choose two to six players and select whether they go more or less than their projection. Prize Picks gives you deals on Taco Tuesday, like Jetta's total bumped all the way down to 61 and a half yards from 94 and a half. And you can do these fun group entries where just one of Smith or Goddard have to score one touchdown. Prize Picks has super fast withdrawals. You can make entries in just a second. Everything is super easy. And the best part is, just by using my promo code Rollins, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. That's promo code Rollins. Right away in week 14, 2022, Brandon Staley had Mike McDaniel's number. He took away all of their inbreakers, leading to Tua starting 3 of 15 for just 25 yards. With Tyreek starting from the bottom and the Chargers in a too high shell, which is important, they press the first receiver so he can't get that free release up the seam. And instead of chasing Tyreek with a man defender, they rotate a safety down so he can have leverage and a cushion. Tua's first read doesn't have any space to breathe whatsoever, and there are a couple of throws a game where you will see his arm strength limitations. It was clear Staley's game plan was centered around shutting down the middle of the field where this offense had dominated the rest of the league. He knows this is the only play Tua and McDaniels want, so check out Michael Davis, he's pressed on Tyreek Hill. But when Waddle motions across and Jasir Taylor follows, Davis falls off of Tyreek at the last second so both he and Taylor can stay inside. 
the Chargers are daring Tua to throw anywhere but the place he wants to, and this strategy completely stalled at what McDaniel was trying to do. Staley kept throwing this coverage at him as they kept trying to get to their bread and butter, but they simply could not. They just did not have an answer when they needed it. When they motion Tyreek back across, Taylor and Asante Samuel Jr. switch off, and look at how hard they're trying to stay inside leverage to keep the Dolphins from attacking over the middle. They're still trying to run these inbreakers because that is what they do. They weren't yet good enough as an offense to have a lot of different answers, and they got exposed. This coverage also helped bring the backside safety into the picture since both the Dolphins' wide receivers were on one side, and so the area that the Finns wanted to attack was completely blanketed, and Staley had presented a problem for Mike McDaniel to chew on all offseason, and he did. Fast forward to week one, 466 yards and 36 points later, McDaniel, I'd say, answered the problem. Tyreek went off for 215, two touchdowns because of that answer, where instead of motioning him all the way across the field, which in last year's game gave the Chargers time to adjust, Tyreek lined up on the same side as the concept. They short motioned him outside, and boom, he was gone without the Chargers being able to react. They still pressed the seam route, so that wasn't really getting open. But with less time to process, JC Jackson simply had no shot in hell to guard Tyreek with all this space. And with JC trying to get depth to match him deep just in case he did in fact burn him over the top, he had no chance of coming back inside to guard him. Despite the fact Staley had so much success with his game plan last year, he actually abandoned that plan once he saw that Miami had countered. However, his answer did not work. Last year, he blitzed Tua just six times and obviously had a lot of success by not. But when his answer wasn't working, he decided to blitz him 20 times and he got torched. When you blitz a fifth defender, it's really hard to keep a second safety deep because you run out of coverage defenders underneath. With just one high safety, there's not as much help on these deeper routes like they had last year, which leaves the Chargers one-on-one -on, -one on Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, a place nobody wants to be, especially with a defense whose corners aren't built to match up in man. I mean, not that anybody is with these guys, but certainly not them. Staley wanted to blitz the mesh point to make Tua panic and either take a sack or make a bad decision, but McDaniel's concepts simply have too many answers. With Waddle pressed and now a linebacker on a tight end running the outside route in motion, Derwin James blitzes off the edge, but remember that little slide route? That acts as their hot in case they get a pressure like this one. A hot is just a quick route that is built into the concept, where if the quarterback suddenly gets an unexpected free runner, he can find his hot instead, and because of the design, the Dolphins pick up an explosive gain. McDaniel had Staley's number throughout the day. He had come up with the perfect answer before the game, but also came up with new answers during the game for when Staley presented new problems. Here, the Dolphins motion Durham Smythe across the formation to try and get an easy completion to the flat. The idea is that with the Chargers and man coverage, it'll be super challenging for Eric Kendricks to wade through all this traffic. But watch Kendricks. He gives a push sign to the corners telling them to zone off and pounds his hand, which is their check for this situation. Tua expects this will get Smythe wide open, but he gets fooled. So what does McDaniel do? He answers the problem in game. Now when they motion Smythe across, Kendricks gives the same check right here. But now the Dolphins use Waddle to pull the coverage underneath, and Tua makes a brilliant throw to Tyreek up the seam. This episode is all about McDaniel today, but this game was also about Tua playing within, then breaking free from his scheme, and winning outside of it for really the first time. This shows his elite anticipation, which is one of the major reasons why this offense goes like it does. But we also saw Tua extend plays with his legs and make plays out of structure. Let's give a quick three-play example where the Chargers are trying to stop this drift concept, which is a quick end breaker over the middle. By using their safety to rotate down into the window, they're effectively taking away the route Tua wants to throw, but he still does a nice job of running for the first down when it's not open. So, how do we counter that? Well, if you're going to roll these safeties down inside to stop the end breakers, we've got Tyreek outside to win one-on-one, -on -one, and you're now giving up your too-high safety advantage by holding them both inside, Nice throw from Tua, not the hardest, but this next one is what's really impressive. On an absolutely crucial third and 10, the Chargers are running their safeties all around, but are ultimately bringing two of them down to try and trap the throw they know Tua wants to make. 
They dropped Erwin James to the post, but have JT Woods and Alohi Gilman sit over the middle for the quick inbreaker. Knowing they're going to try and shut this down, McDaniel wisely puts Tyreek on an outside wheel in case Tua doesn't like it. McDaniel knows this will be run outside of the safety coverage since they're so worried about the middle. So when Tua sees it isn't open, he buys some time and on the run drops an absolute dime. Yes, McDaniel set up the play by being a step ahead of Staley, but Tua still had to make an incredibly difficult throw to win the game. He has taken the next step to win outside of McDaniel's perfectly crafted scheme, and at the same time, he will continue reaping the rewards throughout the remainder of his career. McDaniel developed an impressively innovative scheme that he unleashed on the league last year, which turned the Dolphins into a contender. However, when that scheme started to show some cracks, it was on him to innovate once again, something that is not easy to do. But here we are 466 yards later, and we're just getting started. Mike McDaniel has the answer to anything that goes wrong, and with him as the coach, Tua as the quarterback, the Miami Dolphins themselves are an absolute problem.